Chaos. I, I don't know what's going on with my whole apartment situation right now, but I cleaned last week. So I had the week off work last week and I cleaned the whole thing top to bottom, did all the floors and everything. And I don't know what it is, but it's like after I've done like a really deep cleaning day, the last thing I want to do is like pick up after myself. So it's just gotten a little bit out of control, but I have friends coming over tomorrow night for girls night. So I really, really, really need to like get this situation together. So I thought I would do a little like home hack cleaning tips video for YouTube. Um, and I hope that this is like kind of helpful. I've thought of a few things that I can share. Some are cleaning related, some are just other home related things that I was like, Oh, I wonder if you know, people know this. So I will be sharing that. But if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I am Zoe and this is kind of where I share random things about my life. You pick the time, I'll pick the place. Cause baby, I know that you're the dishwasher loading tips because I'm so psycho about loading a dishwasher and I feel like this I perfected the art of masterfully loading the dishwasher so I will always do bowls down the center and then I'll do cups along either side in these racks and then I'll do longer knives and spoons and metal straws on the top and then I'll always do big bigger items back there plates here and somewhere I feel like that's pretty straightforward but how I load the top I feel like is the most efficient so I will show you okay here she is all loaded up so always bowls down the center I always have some of these smaller bowls so I put them on this ledge here and then I can even put more cups here I just didn't have any other dirty ones and then I'll put like bigger kitchen items like my avocado tool which I'll link for you because you need one Long, larger knives and then I'll always put the cups on either side I also put like top shelf only items up here like that little stasher bag and then down here I always load the silverware with like items so that you can easily just grab this and then this is all the spoons and then I put plates there and then I didn't have anything big back there I'm one person I live by myself so there's a lot there's not a lot of dishes for me on a day-to-day -day basis so I'll probably still run this even though it's pretty small um and just to get the clean dishes going, but hopefully that makes sense and is helpful. Okay, so my next hack is actually for your kitchen sink, and this is for your disposal. So I found out about these just by walking the cleaning aisle at Target, but they are so awesome because they're disposal cleaners. So it like, they're these little tiny pods. They look like laundry detergent pods, and you put it down here in the plastic, put it down the disposal, and then you make sure that you're running hot water away from the sink I'll show you exactly how but then you turn your disposal on and just like bubbles up and cleans it and makes it smell so good these are really affordable too and I don't use them like every time I clean the kitchen I'm sure you could but I just kind of use them when like I've had dishes sitting in the sink or you know it's just a smell or you know, people coming over or it's like you know been a few weeks so I don't use these every time but I'm sure you could um, there's eight pods in here that come with it so I will link these for you because they are for sure a game changer okay so you'll want your sink water to get nice and hot and then run like a pencil sized stream so like this big um away from the disposal it could probably even be a little closer you just don't want it like straight down in front of the disposal and so once it's been running for about two minutes you'll put this little pod right in the disposal and make sure you don't like stick your hands down there obviously before you turn the disposal on Okay, it's been running now for about a minute, so I'm gonna take this pod and just tuck it in the disposal. Notice how I didn't put my hand down there, and then I'm gonna start the disposal and let it run. You can see it like kind of bubbling in there. And you just wait until it sounds like it's um, clear. Okay, so probably good. And now it's 
all clean and it smells like so good. This one's the orange scent, the citrus scent. Okay, so my next one for you is a bathroom cleaning hack and I was going to demonstrate this for you, but honestly, no one needs to see my toilet. I just, even though I just cleaned it, just not something that needs to be on the internet. I just feel like that's so gross. So I'm just gonna tell you this instead because it is such a life-changing cleaning hack. So I just found out about these. They're these um, Lysol brand new day click gel automatic toilet bowl cleaner. So basically instead of those like plastic pieces that sit in your toilet, I'm sure you've seen those before. This is just like a gel that sticks to the surface and it just automatically cleans your toilet bowl every time you flush it. And so you need to change it, I think after like three, oh, it says 12 weeks of freshness. I usually change it like once a month. Um, I feel like it's, as soon as I look and see that it's not there, I'll just add a new one. So it has these little click gel pouches. I'll open it and show you exactly what it looks like. So they look just like this as soon as they come out of the little pocket. I don't love that this is like wasteful plastic. I wish it was something different, but I'll take it. Um, you peel that little sticker off and then you just push it against the toilet seat and push in, push this like towards the toilet seat and this little gel will just like stick to it and then it'll stay in there for like three weeks. So it says 12 weeks, but I usually <laughs> change it out once a month, but it smells so good. This is the Mega Hibiscus scent. And I think that there's, there's six applicants in here and I want to say this was like $4. So it's, it's could not be easier. I've definitely noticed that my toilet bowl stays fresh and smells better longer. because someone was watching me do it the other day maybe this was a few weeks ago this one was over and I was like just folding laundry as they were talking to me and they realized how I was doing it and they're like wow that's actually really smart and so I was like do people not do this so maybe you do this maybe you don't but how I do my laundry is instead of just putting like all of the shorts in one pile or like all of the pants or all of the sweatshirts I put everything in the pile with the drawer that it belongs to. So, and I'll make sure that I go through the whole basket before I put anything away. That way I'm not making like multiple trips to the same drawer. So I'll go through the entire laundry basket, make sure that all the athletic wear is together. And then once that's all done, everything's done on my bed in its pile where it like belongs. And then I can just pick that up and put it away. And then I'll have a hanging pile of things that need to be hung up in the closet and so then I'll bring the uh, the hangers out to my bed and I'll put hangers on each one of the things and then I'll take the whole hanging stack into the closet and then organize where it needs to go into the closet so that's basically it it's pretty simple but I just feel like it's like one extra efficiency that makes it that much easier to put things away okay so I think that's about it I cleaned everything up the house is picked up and ready for the girls to come over tomorrow I just made some popcorn and Miller my dog is absolutely obsessed with popcorn she has like a serious addiction but I have to show you this little popcorn maker that I got off Amazon so you just put like regular kernels into it and you put it in the microwave you put this little piece over it it's like silicone and it's like 
expandable um, and it makes the best popcorn. So another little kitchen hack for you, even though it's not cleaning related, but hope you enjoyed this video a little bit different for me, but uh, I love all that lifestyle content. So you can always expect that around here, always a little something different. So all about the life hacks. So hopefully you found something that was helpful in this video um, and I will be back soon making more. So thanks for stopping by.